Anomon, E Nushaman, N O Mon, from Greek I cubed I one half I one quarter I per mil I one half, now ma n, literally one that knows or examines, is the part of a sundial that casts the shadow. The term has come to be used for a variety of purposes in mathematics and other fields. History of the term Anaximander is credited with introducing this Babylonian instrument to the Greeks. Oenopides used the phrase drawn nomon wise to describe a line drawn perpendicular to another. Later, the term was used for an L shaped instrument like a steel square used to draw right angles. This shape may explain its use to describe a shape formed by cutting a smaller square from a larger one. Euclid extended the term to the plane figure formed by removing a similar parallelogram from a corner of a larger parallelogram. Hero of Alexandria defined a gnomon as that which, when added to an entity, makes a new entity similar to the starting entity. In this sense Theon of Smyrna used it to describe a number which added to a polygonal number produces the next one of the same type. The most common use in this sense is an odd integer especially when seen as a figure eight number between square numbers. The Chinese used the gnomon. It is mentioned in the second century nine chapters on the mathematical art as being used much earlier by the Duke of Zul. Usage In the Northern Hemisphere, the shadow casting edge of a sundial gnomon is normally oriented so that it points north and is parallel to the rotation axis of the Earth. That is, it is inclined to the horizontal at an angle that equals the latitude of the sundial's location. At present, such a gnomon should thus point almost precisely at Polaris, as this is within a degree of the north celestial pole. On some sundials, the gnomon is vertical. These were usually used in former times for observing the altitude of the sun, especially when on the meridian. The star is the part of the gnomon that casts the shadow. This can change as the sun moves. For example, the upper west edge of the gnomon might be the star in the morning and the upper east edge might be the star in the afternoon. A three-dimensional gnomon is commonly used in CAD and computer graphics as an aid to positioning objects in the virtual world. By convention, the x-axis direction is colored red, the y-axis green and the z-axis blue. NASA astronauts used a gnomon as a photographic tool to indicate local vertical and to display a color chart when they were working on the moon's surface. Other uses of the term, gnomon is the name given to an aesthetic process utilized by James Joyce in his set of short stories Dubliners, whereby there is some absence, removal, or avoidance in each story. In a recent book Midhat J. Ghazala copyright coined the term nomonicity as a synonym for the contemporary idea of self-similarity both in the increasing and decreasing scale as in fractals. In popular culture, in the book The Tower at the End of the World by Brad Strickland, a giant tower and thin stairs turn out to be the gnomon of a giant sundial. The island the tower is found on is often called Gnomon Island. The gnomon of Saint Sulpice inside the Church of Saint Sulpice in Paris. France, built to assist in determining the date of Easter, was fictionalized as a rose line in the novel The Da Vinci Code. A most notable and effective use of the gnomon metaphorically is found in Charles Portis's novel Masters of Atlantis. Footnotes. References. Gazala Copyright, Midhat J. Gnomons, From Pharaohs to Fractals, Princeton University Press, Princeton, 1999. ISBN 0-691-00514-1. Heath, Thomas Little, A History of Greek Mathematics, Dover Publications, ISBN A9780486240375. Lausius, Diogenes, The Lives and Opinions of Eminent Philosophers, Trans. C. D. Yonge. London, Henry G. Bonn. 1853. Mile, A. Newton, Mile, Margaret W., Sundials, Their Construction and Use, Dover Publications, Incorporated, 1994, ISBN 0-486-41146-X, War, Albert E., Sundials, Their Theory and Construction, Dover Publications, Incorporated, 1973. ISBN 0-486-22947-5. 1. Apollo 16 Traverse Guide. 2. Apollo Geology Tool Catalog.